Like, like we said, Halloween is tomorrow and scaring is in full swing. But one local haunted house has been scaring people all weekend, but it's all for a great cause. Fox 44's Mally Jones is there to show us what's so special about this haunted house. Mally, are you scared yet? Because I think I would be scared. <laughs> Well, I, I got to be honest with you, I haven't had the guts to go in by myself yet, so uh, I, I'm not there yet, but it's definitely spooky here, definitely a great time for sure, and they're getting ready to wrap up tonight, but tomorrow they will be open from 6.30 to o'clock and what makes this haunted house special is it's all a fundraiser for the Sunshine Recovery House. It's, it's not just a haunted house, it's a haunted house for a purpose. This is the third year the Sunshine Recovery House has hosted its Scared Sober Haunted House. We're just out to have fun and shed some light on the darkness that addiction, uh, people in addiction walk through. All the proceeds benefit the Sunshine Recovery House, which serves local women in the early stages of recovery, providing a healthy place to heal and recover. They've always really been welcoming and, and loving and caring and uh, just a really big part of my life. The house is an old home in Waco called the Pink Lady, and it is in need of repair, specifically for repairing all the windows in the house. We have 70 windows, and it's going to cost us about 64 grand. To, to replace them and the rotten wood. Waco has about three houses for men totaling around 60 beds and for women there are only 17 beds with 11 of those being at the Sunshine Recovery House. But if they go home, if they go back to that seat of addiction, that root of addiction, they're going to fall back into those habits. So transitional housing has been proven to lessen that chance of them, not, not guaranteed, but less than the chance of them going back. The team says the haunted house is suitable for all ages and they've had everything from brave three-year-olds up to teenagers. All of the fundraising that we do really helps our house to stay open and provide as many opportunities for women trying to get sober as possible. All right, well, I made a friend in the meantime. Um, <laughs> Tonight, uh, the doors are closing in just about 30 minutes, but they'll be open again tomorrow night from 6.30 to 10 o'clock. And for admission, they suggest a donation of $10. In Waco, Mally Jones, Fox 44 News. I'm terrified for Mally. We will promise we'll make sure she gets back here okay.